Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach and it is fantastic to have you join me here today. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you are feeling that you are not making progress in your healing journey, that you're not getting where you want to go, that you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, you're looking around and you're thinking, well, you know, this person, they said do X and I've done X and it's not working. And this person, they've said do this and I've done this and it's not working. And I've read all the books and I've been on all the websites and I've looked at all the videos and I've taken all the courses and I'm struggling. All right, I've been there in the very beginning. It can be really hard. It can feel like a slog. It can feel so difficult because you feel like you're pushing against something all the time and it can really be very exhausting. And then you stop and you look and you take count and you think, well, nothing's changed, so why bother? And I'm here to say, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. I have been there plenty, plenty of times where I have felt... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I have been putting this into action. I've been trying this. I've been doing this. And where are my results? Now, I am very destination focused. I am very end results orientated. And I am learning to appreciate the process of becoming. I'm learning to appreciate the beauty of going through the process. But the trick here is to stick to it and go with the process. Take it slowly, as slowly as you need to. And on those days where you feel like you've taken one step forward and two steps back, that's okay. Just think about the seeds that you are planting. Think about what it is that you are going through. What difference it is that you're making. These seeds that you are planting at the moment, this rewiring of your brain, this thinking new thoughts, trying new beliefs, this whole process is hard work because you're going against your natural wiring. You're going against what is normal and you are reprogramming yourself. You are relearning. And we're not computers. It's not about a case of push a button and download and it's all done. This is really a long, almost sacred process if we allow it to be. It can be, there's a lot of grace in it. There's a lot of beauty in it if we are open to that experience. So recently I read an analogy and I thought this was brilliant and I thought I have to share it with you because it made such a profound impact on me, even though I am not a gardener. So as you can see, I am standing in my garden and I do not have green fingers, all right? None of this is because of me. I just get to enjoy it. Uh, very lucky, very blessed. I have a guy who comes in twice a week and he's got green fingers and he makes sure that things keep growing and things keep doing their thing. But this analogy was specifically for gardeners. So if you are a gardener or if you enjoy gardening or you understand the process, this will really, really resonate with you. If not, and you're more like me, and you get to sit on the sidelines and watch it happen, you can still appreciate it because you can see it in action. So if you are going to be planting a fruit tree, all right, we're going to put the seeds in, they're going <laughs> to nourish the soil, do whatever it is that needs to be done, and we're not going to see the tree the next day, right? We're not going to see the tree the next week. We're not going to see the tree for a while. And the analogy that she used was the first year it sleeps, the second year it creeps, and the third year it leaps. And I loved that. I thought that that was fantastic. That really got me excited to share with you because in your first year, what you're doing is you are sleeping. The seeds are sleeping. You've put them in, you're nourishing them, you're tending to them all the time. We can't just leave them and go, oh, well, hope for the best, 50-50, maybe it will, maybe it won't. We really want that tree to grow, so we're going to give it a lot of love, a lot of attention, a lot of TLC, and we're going to focus on it, and we're going to really try and help this tree grow. We're going to give it as much attention as we can, all right? We're not going to go, yeah, okay, good luck, dude. I've now planted the seed. Let's see what happens. We're going to really attend to it, and so your first year 
it's going to be a lot of work and you're not going to necessarily always see the results in your first year. You're going to have moments where you're going to see something and you're going to be like, yes, okay, I can do this. And there's going to be a lot of time where you're going, oh, what is happening here? I'm doing this, I'm trying this and nothing is working for me. Stick at it. The second year, it's going to creep. We're going to see little bits. We're going to see some fruits of our labor. We're going to see some things coming about and we're going to notice that we're different. We're going to notice that we feel different. For the most part, we think different. We're starting to see things differently. We're starting to believe things differently. We're going to see some growth there. In your third year, you're going to go, oh wow, okay, this is now the fruits of my labor, of what it is that I've been doing. And at no point are we to stop. We want to always tend to it. We want to stay committed and stay dedicated because this is a new way of life. This is a new tree and this tree needs a lot of love. It needs a lot of TLC. It needs a lot of focus. If we're going to go, yeah, okay, well, you're on your own now. This tree's not going to make it. It's still in its infancy. It's still, still trying to work its way. And if you're going to take another analogy, which I really love, is that strong trees get strong by wind. They grow their roots deep because of the wind. They are able to stand sturdy because of the wind. If there was no wind, if there was no opposition, the trees will grow, but they're not going to perhaps be as strong as they could be. So if you're going to experience opposition, if you're going to experience resistance, it's not a bad thing. It's not the end of the world. I speak often about let's get comfortable with uncomfortable emotions. Let's just accept the process for what it is. Lean into the process and know and trust that this experience is for our benefit. I am a firm believer in your direct experience is your teacher. How you are experiencing things, there is a lesson in there for you. And just think in the very beginning, while it sleeps, the roots are working, all right? The roots are going down. The roots are trying to take hold. The roots are trying to still anchor themselves. It's still so new and it's a baby. And what we want to do is we want to love it and we want to protect it and we want to look after it just like a baby. And we want to give it that tenderness and we want to give it that care and we want to give it that patience. And my last analogy for you today is actually about a baby. If you look at a baby and a baby learns to walk, the baby doesn't get upset when it falls down the first time and nobody says, hey, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you walking yet? We trust and we respect and we accept that it is a process and the baby accepts that too. Yes, the baby gets frustrated, they fall on their bottom and they cry and then they get over it and then they try and pick themselves up again and they stand up and they do their little waddle and sometimes it's great and they get a little bit of a speed wobble and then they fall over and sometimes they're really steady and they take their time and just being able to witness and watch a baby learn to walk is amazing too. The baby doesn't chastise itself, doesn't tell that it's, itself that it's stupid, that there's something wrong with it, that they should know what to do, that none of that happens. The baby, yes, at times gets frustrated and yes, the baby sits and has a cry and you are allowed to do that too but the baby gets up again and that's what we want to do. We want to get up again. We want to keep pushing forward. We want to keep moving forward. We want to keep doing this, all right? Because we know that at the end, there was going to be greatness, that pot of gold, that, that new way of being, that new belief, that love for ourselves and for others. The new best version of ourselves is waiting at the other end. And what we can do in the meantime is just show ourselves a lot of compassion, a lot of love, a lot of comfort and a lot of acceptance and patience that on those days when it is hard and we think oh this is too hard maybe it's supposed to be it's giving those roots that strength that it needs to dig in harder really make sure that it's anchored so that when those winds do come and as we know in life they do that we're not going to topple over we've done it we have set the course we have stayed through it I hope this has helped you. I hope that this has given you some ideas of you are in a good place. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep persevering. There is hope and help and love and so much beauty at the end of this process for you. If you believe in God or a higher being, trust him through it. Have faith in him that he is going to help you get to the other side of this. That You're not doing it alone and that you are going to, at the end of the day, turn around and see that all of this growth, all of this pushing through, all of this growing 
is for your benefit. It is for your strength. I hope that this helps you. I hope that you are able to learn something today. Uh, do let me know in the comments. Come on over to Instagram. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Let me know your thoughts at Emotional Resilience Coach. I always love to chat to you. There's an amazing community of people there that really help each other, love each other, and support each other through this process. Together, we get stronger. Have a most fantastic day.